Good morning, good morning. From Chicago, the risk management capital of the world. I'm Alan Nuckman with Trading Advantage with your morning market stir for Monday, January 27th. Well, look out below. Very tough week. Worst week we've had in a couple of years in the markets last week. E-mini S&P finished at 1782, down 42 points on Friday. 2% losses across the board. The low on Friday was 1780. Dow futures got hit harder, down 335, 15,816. The Dow lost 3.5% for the week. Looking at the NASDAQ, the NASDAQ, let's put in perspective, made new 13-year highs last uh, last week, midweek, uh, was down 1.6 on the week, lost 81 points on Friday, settled at 35.32. Currencies were quiet. Dollar was up 280.54, did it get as low as 80.22, so looking to see what happens with this 80 pivot we keep talking about for months. Uh, Euro held up 136.76, got as high as 137.40 on the day, and we saw bonds continue to show strength, up 17, some flight to quality, 132.27, high was 133. We've seen a nice, healthy move in the bond market on the upside. Crude oil was down 65 cents, 96.64. Crude oil did gain two dollars on the week, and lastly was gold. Gold was up two dollars at 12.64. Gold added 13 dollars last week as we saw new month highs on the upside breakout. So after the hard hit on Friday, where the market stand on this Monday morning to start a new trading day, well, we're positive. We're up eight in the mini S&P, 17.90, up about a third of a percent. We're up 35 or so in the Dow futures, 15,848, and the Nasdaq's up eight at 35.40. Currencies again are quiet, up three, 80.57 in the dollar, down three in the euro, 136.73. We've got bonds off a little bit, down nine points, 132.17. The yield on the 30-year Treasury is at 3.66, and the 10-year note's at 2.75, so a full quarter percent off off of that recent 3% that everybody was all worried about. Crude oil's up 10 cents at 96.75 and gold's down a dollar at 12.63. So wrap up the current action two hours ago before the cash stock market open. We're positive right now in the futures. We're up a third of a percent. We've got a lot of earnings coming out today. I think 25%, not today, but all week. 25% of the S&P 500 stocks report this week and a third of the Dow stocks. So I will see you Tuesday morning for your morning market search to set up your trading day. Alan Nuckman here from Trading Advantage at the CME Group, where it all comes back to commodities.